आई एम डॉक्टर सोहेल खान आई एम एन ऑर्थोपेडिक ट्रॉमा एंड जॉइंट रिप्लेसमेंट सर्जन एंड आई हैव बीन प्रैक्टिसिंग इन कोंडवा सिंस लास्ट टेन इयर्स वी हैड स्टार्टेड दिस हॉस्पिटल साना हॉस्पिटल सेवन इयर्स बैक एंड वी हैव स्पेशलाइज इन रोबोटिक जॉइंट रिप्लेसमेंट्स ट्रॉमा सर्जरीज एंड डिफॉर्मिटी करेक्शन सर्जरीज रिलायबल एंड एक्यूरेट uh definitely yes initially when uh, we used to go into surgeries uh our planning was on the go on the go meaning uh when we were doing the surgeries we used to do soft tissue releases then we used to take cuts and then we used to readjust our ligament balancing or the cuts that we see intraoperatively but right now what we are uh, experience is that we are able to plan it much better much earlier even before the surgery starts even during the surgery before we take the cuts and that is why the cuts have been more precise and even in difficult cases the soft tissue releases have been minimum so our uh, patients outcomes after the surgery have improved and they are able to walk even on the first day of surgery Initially when uh, I had decided that we have to take a robotic joint replacement system uh, I thought that maybe our operation theater was a little smaller in size and we had a lot of uh, discussions regarding how will it fit inside the operation theater and whether it will occupy a lot of space uh, after actually seeing the robotic system in one of the conferences that I went uh it had a very very small footprint meaning it was a very compact sized uh, robot and when we are actually using it in the operation theater uh the space that it actually requires is very less and it has been like an assistant with a better uh, surgical sense to me and i think it uh, the integration has been really very smooth Uh, whenever the patient visits our hospital and he decides that a uh, robotic knee replacement surgery has to be done what we do is uh, a day prior or two days prior we send the patient to a ct scan center and that ct scan scan center will do a particular ct scan which is required for our robotic system that ct scan will then be fitted into our computer system and the computer and the software based on artificial intelligence will take cuts in such a manner that we will be able to decide what implant has to be put prior to the surgery and also will be able to see how the implant is being fitted on the actual femur and tibia of the bone so it is a better pre planning procedure that has been added when we go inside the operation theater with the robotic system whenever we open and we see whether the uh, flexion extension gaps are to be matched even during the surgical procedure just before the cutting we can adjust all the settings on our screen and then when we are completely satisfied we can ask the robot to proceed with cutting